well. So, for I mean, and it's it's essentially the point where you don't need Microsoft Office to open Microsoft Office documents, and except for you know really complicated formatting like legal documents with lots of line numbers and stuff, it it, it renders it fine. And I'm sure it would render it perfectly if Microsoft used Open Standards instead of. Uh, Purposefully obfuscating um, their file formats, but anyway, that's a rant for another day. Um, uh, and there are there are a lot of programs like like Game, which is an open source um, IM client. You know, you can be on AIM, ICQ, Yahoo, MSN, IRC, um, every every chat service known to man. You can run at the same time and. In a game, in one program, it's once again cross-platform and open source. It runs on Windows, Mac, Linux, and um, it's really powerful. And you can be on online with multiple IM IM uh, names. You can uh, it it does tab tab IMing, and it's a fun pro. It's also a fun program to use, and a lot of people like it. It doesn't do all of the fancy. It doesn't do video and audio chat and all those things. But really, you know, that's not really what an IM client is for. And everyone who just uses an IM client to IM people, um, game serves their needs and it serves them very well. It's a very powerful program. Um, I've switched a lot of my friends to it, and. And there's also the the GIMP um, for those who can't afford what seven hundred dollars or whatever it is for Adobe Photoshop. And um, the GIMP is a great great replacement. Uh, it doesn't have the full features of Photoshop, maybe, but it's it, it works. It works for it works pretty well. It's got kind of an obs it's got kind of a weird user interface like. To do anything in the game, you, you left click and you go through this like horrendously long menu to find what you need to do. But after you get used to it, um, it's quite functional. And uh, I mean, the main problem in open source has always been um, usability for people who aren't geeks. Um, but you know, in the future, like everyone's going to be a geek. But <laughs> you know, everyone uses computers. I mean, even people's grandmothers use computers. And I mean, we're also seeing um, increased usability um, because corporations like IBM are throwing their weight behind it. You know, IBM has said that they want everyone in their co corporation to be using Linux on their desktops um, within a year, I believe they said. And if that's true, I expect Linux to be usable for a normal desktop user um, within a year. I mean, <laughs> you can't be. I mean, you know, corporation executives at IBM probably aren't that much smarter than your average user, you know. So, not to make digs at IBM. Um, but, yeah, and also, I mean, there's been this problem that, you know, when you're writing an open source program, you're kind of scratching an itch. You know, you're, you're making, you're, because you have a need for something, um, you create a program to fill that need. And so the the program reflects the needs of its users, the people not not the needs of its users, the people who wrote it, the people who are contributing to it. But as open source expands to the rest of the population, you know, you see more people contribute to it who aren't just you know um, Unix and sysadmins hidden in a basement somewhere. You know, um, there are graphic artists you know getting involved. Mozilla has very pretty logos these days, um, and it's not. You know, it's not something to be afraid of anymore. What is the relationship between open source and freedom of speech? Ooh, that's a good one. Wow, that's that's really Watch something. Your, oh, sorry. Sorry, is it okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're fine. Okay, yeah, I, li I like to spin in chairs. Yeah, is, is right? he spinning out of the frame when he does? No, 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 no. fine. Okay, <laughs> I enjoy off the chairs way too much. But okay, I mean, op the connections between open source and freedom of speech. Hmm. Well, you know, our tagline for our organization that we're starting, uh, FreeCulture.org, which is an international student movement for free culture. Um, we li we like to say we're about free speech, free software free culture. Um, as you may be aware, free software is an older